game three of the American League Championship Series where Michael Markinson and I are about to take in the A's and the Red Sox. The A's lead two games to none. Uh, behind some great pitching and Jose Canseco's two home runs. Today we're going to watch the A's uh, beat the Red Sox and uh, hopefully end this thing in four games at home and go on to the World Series and play the Mets. 80 degrees out, beautiful day for a ball game. Mr. Quinn. What do you think about Boddicker's record as far as the comparison between his pitching with the Boston and his time with the Orioles? Well, when he was with the Orioles, he sucked. But uh, the Orioles sucked also as they went on to lose about 110 games. Since he came to Boston, he's been his old self again, and today he takes on Bob Welch. The thing is, Welch has beaten Boddicker once this year already. Welch is awesome at home. Boddicker's a great pitcher. I think we're going to see a great game. I think it's going to be a pitching duel today, but I have a feeling the A's are going to win it and sweep the Red Sox in four games. I believe that uh, uh, a pitcher with a bad ball club is in a much worse position than a batter with a bad ball club. If you're a batter, you'll still get your swings in. Your average won't um, plummet. But if you're a pitcher on a bad ball club, you're pretty much screwed. Yeah, the the uh, players won't drive in runs for you. Uh, they uh, make errors, and uh, so I believe that uh, the record of the two pitchers is very, very deceiving. Well, I I agree with you. I think it'll be uh, something incredible to watch this video after I talk here because Wade Boggs will probably be the hero, but he's not right now. He sucks. Uh, he's gotten one hit. And he's not hitting. The Red Sox aren't hitting. They have 10 hits in the whole series. They're batting like 164 through the first two games. The A's aren't doing much better, but the Red Sox just can't hit at all. And that's why the, uh, I think I agree with you there, that the pitchers are the real story here. And, they, and they, when the hitters can't do it, uh, you're going to lose. That's why the Red Sox are losing right now. If you were Joe Morgan, how would you motivate your club? Well, I'd go on Giants vision. Uh, and <laughs> as a former Giant, oh, the other Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan of the Red Sox motivate my club. He doesn't seem like much of a motivator. Uh, I don't know what I'd do at this point. Uh, I'd st probably start throwing at the A's batters, throw at the heads. <laughs> um, do, you, um, do you mean that uh, semi-seriously? Well, the only reason I mean that semi-seriously is to be quite honest, I don't think the A's can be beaten by anybody. I don't, uh, there's not one weakness in the team. So uh, the only motivation I think he could muster is to win today and take the momentum of that into the next game. I don't really know. Uh, the A's are just too hot. The Red Sox just really aren't looking too, too good. And in the Coliseum, a big ballpark, it's going to be tough for the Red Sox to do anything with no power. Well, power comes and power goes. And anything can happen on any given day. Well, we'll see what happens during this game, and I, you know, we'll have a post-game report uh, after after the game. Um, your uh, um, prediction for today's um, final score? I would have to say Oakland four, Boston two. My prediction will be Boston five, Oakland four. Well, this is my seat, uh, about as good as you can get. 80 degrees. He's lying in front of his seat. Well, in all the excitement last night of the game, there was no time for a post-game report. It ended up being one of the most exciting baseball games in playoff history. The A's came back from a 5 to nothing second inning uh, losing, and uh, they ended up winning 10 to 6. No team had ever come back from a 5 nothing deficit. Uh, A's just, everyone that got on base, they drove in, they got four home runs. Uh, every pitcher, it seems, pitched a good inning after Bob Welch really uh, messed up. Mike Boddicker really messed up. So that ended up not being a pitching duel at all. But it was a great game, and now uh, on this Sunday morning, we're just two hours away from game four and possibly an Oakland sweep. They definitely have the momentum.
the marketing manager of the West of the Chevrolet Motor Division. The stadium is quiet now for the first time all day. On behalf of Chevrolet and 5,000 Chevrolet dealers, it will be in one minute.
Oh. 